Hi, this is Jonathan. How are you guys doing? In this video, I'm going to play a guitar that I haven't played before. This is the ESP Snapper AS slash M. This guitar was manufactured in Japan. The finish is called Honey Blonde. It's a see-through. It's like your uh, Mary Kay kind of style, you know. Uh, you can see the grain is made of swamp ash.
his heart maple neck. Bolt on. It has five screws. Bolt on. Um, features a bone nut. It's an unfinished bone nut. And it features the Goto lock in tuners. Really fine. Really fine. Really fine tuners. These are really nice looking as well as highly functionable. Uh, this is like one of the top ranges. Um, the ratio and everything is pretty cool. Nice. Features a nickel thread. Um, I guess these are, I don't know, medium jumbos. Yep, me medium jumbo. This has a modern U shape and it's really interesting. Um, very comfortable, you know, and uh, of course it features a maple, a maple fretboard, you know, and with a nice circle abalone inlays. They're really nice, you know. As for the pickups, this guitar features all Seymour Duncan pickups. On the bridge, you have the TB16, uh, and on the neck and the, and the middle, you have the stacks. You know, these are the stack seven. Uh, from Seymour Duncan's features a five-way switch and this way it comes interesting becomes interesting you have uh, a push-pull on your tone control and this will uh, select uh, the different capacitors that you this this uh, this guitar has so on the normal position which is on down you have the 0 .0, uh, 0.0473 and on the up you have the 0 0.022 um, well, I guess it's the difference in tone when you are actually playing around with the tone control. You actually find the difference, you know. So the 0 0.022 is more, a little bit more brighter, and the 0 0.4, which is on the normal position, is more darker. So this is meant for the humbuckers over, you know, humbucker configuration. As for the mini toggle switch, on your on position on the bridge, you have just the bridge pickup. On the second position, you have all three pickups, right? And then on the middle position, you have just the middle. And on this uh, fourth position, you have the middle and the split coil of the humbucker. It's very interesting. Then on the fifth position, you have just a humbucker, just the same as, as the normal setting. So you have a different uh, different configurations of pickups that you can play around with, which is really interesting. The truss rod adjustment is made on the neck itself, at the end of the neck itself, so it's pretty cool with the turnkey. Um, Features a tortoise shell uh, pickguard, has inlays at the side so you can actually see from the, from the top down. All right, at the back, on the next stop, on the head stop, you can see that it's made in Japan. All right. uh, how does it play? It plays really well. Uh, I, I think, uh, you know, when I start playing it, when I when 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 I hear the sound that this guitar is is churning out, I'm, I'm like really pleased because. Uh, it's a great sounding guitar and it plays really well too. Um, the neck uh, is a modern U, like I said before. It's really comfortable. The tram system, uh, it, it came in with uh, five, five springs. I removed one so that it's kind of floated. And it is floated, so it plays beautifully. Um, great, I, I guess this guitar if it's well set up. You know, it, 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 it will stay relatively in tune. As it is right now, it stays really much in tune, except for a little chink here and there because uh, I didn't want to touch it because it's brand new. This guitar is supplied with the kind courtesy of Davis Music in Singapore. And there are many models of ESP guitars available in the shop. So you just want to check out their website if you're in Singapore. Um, I'll put down the price for you. The guitar is not cheap, but uh, you can tell there's quality all around. You know, there is, uh, there's a reason why it's priced at that range. So what do I think about this guitar? I think if you're a guitarist who is looking for a premium um, guitar, this is something to look at. You know, it's, it's a good choice. Uh, like I said, you pay for what you get. These are all premium stuff, including the locking tuners, the bone nut, you know, the, uh, the pickups, you know, all Seymour Duncan's, and of course, the bridge. I love the bridge. It plays really well, stays in tune. Uh, I think with the proper setup, it will stay in tune really, really well. Um, the neck is pretty interesting because it's a compound radius. It's, it ranges from 9.5 to uh, 12 inch, so pretty neat. So I, I just I just mentioned in the previous video that I haven't had a chance to play the compound radius, uh, the video about fret radius, so I finally got a chance to do it. So this is a compound radius and it, it, it feels really nice because it, 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 it didn't um, I didn't actually um, notice that you know it, it went from nine and a half to twelve inch. Uh, I guess the twelve inch part is around here, so it's, it's nice. It, 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 it's um, it's really comfortable for me. Um, that's for me. <laughs> so 
yeah, in terms of sound, you know, um, sounds great. And you know, Simo Duncan's uh, pickups, you know, you see all my know is one of my favorite uh, brands of pickups, and uh, it delivers. And yep. So tell me what do you think about this guitar? You know, uh, you know put it in the comment section down below, right? And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up uh, and join this channel. And uh, just a shout out to the Patreon page that I have going. So if you want to um, support me in this channel, uh, feel free to do it. Alright, so I'll see you again in the next video. You guys take care of yourself.